Hey, what's up, yo? Just back here again, and I just wanted to give a quick update on um, a couple of the air guns I have. You know, I got the Glock 17 that I got the other day, and, um, you know, I broke down the magazine, and I actually made a mistake on that. So I wanted to just cor uh, correct myself on that. So let me grab that. I got the Glock here. And one of the mistakes I made on this magazine is, and, and it actually bothered me when I found out that I said it wrong. So I'm, I've been thinking about this since. So that's why I'm addressing this first is I originally said that, you know, to cycle the mag, the little piece and the gun, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. If I pull the trigger, see the little metal pieces There's two of them in there. One, I don't know. I, I, let me see if I can get a light over here. Maybe. Maybe this way. Yes, I'm gonna. Okay, so you can kind of see. You see where those pieces are, are moving, just under the barrel. So. I didn't like having that look, you know, point me in the face either, but completely empty, there's nothing in there. So, that little thing that just took me a half hour to show you, I thought it was in that little slot, grabbing in here and moving. It's not. It's actually hitting this little piece right here, and it's turning that. So that little metal piece is hitting this, and then spinning from there. So I just wanted to correct that, because I didn't want to keep it out there and me saying that it was grabbing in here and, and pulling this up because I was looking at it and that's an easy to uh, easy way to wear out the plastic belt on that so again I just wanted to correct that I made a mistake it bothered me that I, I put it out there that was wrong and um so I just wanted to say that and, and the other thing I wanted to say is I'm not no expert at this I'm figuring this this out the hard way I'm taking it apart and and it's it's breaking, you know what I'm saying? And then I have to learn how to put it back together. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. So I just, again, I just wanted to put that out there. I was wrong about how this cycles. The trigger actually moves this little gear right here. The one that I think should be spring loaded would make this 10 times better, but that's what that is. So now that that's out of the way, another thing I wanted to, to talk about is, you know, I got the T4E Walters. I do want to do a spring upgrade on that. I think I talked about that the last one. I also have this. Hold on. So, this is something I got around the time I got the Walter. This is that uh, TMP1, that T4E TMP1. Got one of these, too. And, you know, I actually had this at my mom's house. Mom dude's his crib was, you know, mom's was holding on to this. Now here's the thing with this is when I gave her this back in 2020, end of 2020, beginning of 2021, she tested it out, shot it a few times, threw some CO2 cartridges in. These have been sitting in here since at least the beginning of 2001. I had two mags. I got two of these mags, fully loaded. These rounds have been in here since then too so the spring has been compressed for two three years the co2 cartridges have been here for a couple years i you know grabbed it she forgot she even had it you know i asked her about it she's like oh yeah she dug it out found it and i asked her i said how long have these been here since you gave it to me i tried it i put these in they've been sitting so we got two mags with two co2 cartridges Brand new ones that have been in there for a couple years, so we're gonna see if they held any air. I haven't even tried it, so I've been saving this to do this together. Now, whether you believe me or not, I don't really care if you do or not. I can give a fuck less if you do, honestly. I know what the fuck is going on. I know what she did. She knows what she did. Now, whether you believe me what happens, fuck you, I don't care, so <laughs> straight up. So that's what, what, what I plan on doing, and we're gonna give that a try too, so, you know. So that's, that's the other thing I want to do on that. So we got the Glock that I want to want to get tested. This, I want to test these CO2, see if they held there after two or three years, which we've always been told, oh, you can't keep them there, they'll lose there, they'll leak there, they're no good. We're about to find out. And again, if you don't believe that this is a real test, fuck you, I can care less if you believe me or not, honestly. like I'm done trying to fucking be nice and, and placate everyone especially fucking people who just talk shit to talk shit. So 
We got the Glock. I want to try to get out there today and get that. This, the T, the TMP one. I'm saving that so we can actually get the target set up and do our thing with that. So, and why I think I'm, I'm, I'll be able to go out there and do some shots today is. Yes, I'm yapping. There is no shooting. So if you don't like it, fucking bounce. I can care less there either. Um, I actually have to go into the office today. I haven't been in the office since July. And I just got put on the on-call fucking road rotation. So I'm going to pick up a new phone. I actually just got ping. I don't know if you heard it, you know, ping in the background. But that's him saying the phone's ready. So, you know, I got the Glock I'm taking with me. I got a sortie. Not my dead one. I had two. I got a 177 one too. And that's actually something else I wanted to pull out and show you too. So hold on one second. Alright. So this here is my 177 sortie. And as you can see, it's got the ah stamped in because I bought this refurb from Hatson. I got the 25 cal brand new. This is my first one. I bought this one refurb from them. And then I got the 25 cal after. Um, the only issue I ever had with this since I got it is I went out one time. It was kind of cold out, snow out, and it seized up in here. I don't know if the grease might have got too cold or whatever, but I had to come clean it out. And I was able to get it work and I haven't had a lot of issues. I haven't had any issues with it since. I haven't used it a lot either, but it's been fairly solid since that one, you know, uh, one seize up, one freeze up, whatever you want to call it. But one thing I did want to show you in here, because I've been trying to understand what I did wrong with my sortie, you know, and I just wanted to show you something real quick because then I'm going to reply back to him. And if he's ready, I'm going to jump in the car, take the sortie, probably the Glock, just the sortie and Glock, try to get it over the crony, get some numbers for both of these because they're both 177 cal, and then we can go from there because, you know, I do want to do an upgrade on the Glock, see if we can uh, increase, you know, the pellet uh, FPS on that. Just try that valve spring update just to see what happens. But as far as this sortie... I just want to, sh I, I think I know what I did wrong and why I killed my spring, why that back piece was popped out. So check this. Let me just get this out of there. All right. I'm going to get the GoPro going here. Because, um, because I want to show you this, so. All right, cool. So now we are gopro on it, yeah. So, I don't know if you can really see, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but, so basically, I put a couple little dots. I don't know if you can see them. One here and one here. Basically, that's the travel distance from the grub screw when it's here to when it's fully cocked. That's the travel distance. What I think I did wrong with my sortie, hold on. Is, so here's the, the hammer spring that, this is the OEM hammer spring that Hatson sent me for the 25 when it wasn't working right, so. Here's the grub screws. I'm just going to keep those in here. Okay, so we need, we need this. Because this is the screw that goes in the hammer. We have the little space of that also goes in the hammer. I don't have the hammer out, this piece right here, the silver piece. Excuse me. I don't have the um, hammer out of my 25 cal. I didn't take it apart like that. <clears throat> Damn, excuse me again. Um, so, and then the hammer spring is like this. And again, this is in the hammer, and then this goes here. So what I think I was doing, what I did do, and I what I think I, I killed, is I took the grub screw out. This is on the 25 cal. I'm using the 177 as an example. I took the grub screw out, and I backed the... Um, the hammer screw 
as far back as I can go. So you gotta remember, this hammer screw is at least right here. So what I did is I, you know, and then we had the spring, and I think what I did, what I did do is I backed the hammer spring, the hammer screw all the way to the spring. There was no gap in between. There was no, and I think that gap in this, again, I'm just guessing here. I don't know. I mean, you got this little spacer here, but I'm guessing that this hammer spring needs a little space to move as a, as a debouncer so it doesn't hit the pin twice. That's, that's my guess because that's what threw me off is that there was a little play in here, and that's why I snugged it up. I said, I want this tight. You know what I mean? So that back there, this here, at least right here, and now, you gotta remember, this whole thing has to move to here. So if it's here, the, the back piece is pretty much here, this is here. So this spring is compressed into this small area. You know, so, and what, what I think was happening is the power of the spring, I'm surprised it didn't kill the sear on this, but I think the power of the spring, you know, bam, 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 was jackhammer in the back of the bolt and that's why it pushed it out because this spring is pretty hot this is this isn't no weak ass spring you can't even close it all the way with your fingers that's what i think i did i tightened it too much with a really heavy heavy uh, hammer spring there was nowhere to go because again you got to think that if i had this touching yeah there is there was no no room it pushed the bolt out and why I think that is look at this. So this is the 177 I'm gonna grab the stock. I just pulled off And again, this is a refurb 177, but look inside the stock Can you see it I'm trying to get it in the camera Can you see the circle right there oh, Come on motherfucker. You see it? That shows me that the 177 Cal had the exact same fucking problem before it was sent back to be refurbed. And why I say that is because if you look, and I looked, I haven't taken it apart yet, but I looked at the hammer spring in there and it's not as thick as this one. It's a little thinner. So whatever they did, they refurbed this 177, put a weaker hammer spring in here. It's not even the OEM one. It's the fucking weaker one. You know, but this sortie went through the exact same problems that I just had because the back is mocked up. This is a known issue. The whole reason why I knew to look at that is because someone else had say, someone else had said, I think it was in a, a, a forum somewhere, a post that this should be flush. That little butt plug on the back should be should be flush to the back of the receiver, not sticking out. And his he said his was sticking about a quarter of an inch, just like mine was. And then looking in here, you see that there's the same damage inside the 177 stock that's inside that that happened to my my 25 cal. So I think the same thing happened to this. It was sent back to to Hatson for a refurb, which obviously got the stamp. They put a lighter hammer spring in and I'm gonna guess that they tapped that that they tapped that hole to fix the threads and then put a new butt plug in there and I'm gonna tell you I just ordered two more of these butt plugs from Hatson and I should have them this weekend you know so I'm gonna have two more of these I ordered a, um, a tap kit I got it it came on Monday so I'm gonna tap I'm gonna retap that hole on the 25 cal. That's happening. It's just a matter of when. But that's my plan is if I can retap it to the same size, I can use the new butt plug, put that in there. I ordered new springs. You know, I've been hunting for weaker springs, weaker springs, weaker springs. I finally found them. And, you know, I wanna give this hammer spring, this this lighter hammer spring. I think it's um eight mil by I think one mil by four, I think 50 millimeters. So that's that's what I'm gonna try. And of course, as soon as I find the spring, I see Maccabee Speed's video where he's like, yeah, here's the hammer spring for the blitz. That works fine and it's almost the exact same thing. I think his is a little longer. So, you know, I just wanted to shout out Maccabee for that. You know what I mean? Cause 
you know, I was looking around and I happened to find it. Then I saw his video like probably a few hours after I placed the order. So at least I was on the right on the right path there. So, you know, we were in the right direction. Um, but that's that's my plan with, with, with that. So I want to try to get this out into the field today when I go pick up the um, go pick up my on call phone. That's what I think I did wrong because. Let me see. Because, like, I don't know if you could see, but the spring does have a little play in there. So, I don't know. But that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. I, I cranked the hammer spring, and I didn't even crank it. I just had it basically touch the spring. You know what I mean? But that was enough where, where I turned it up. It only had so much space for that. And this spring was completely compressed. You saw that. So that it had no more, nowhere else to go but out that way or destroy that sear and back that way. And, and again, I'm no expert. I'm just kind of guessing here. I'm just trying to put two and two together, taking apart the 177, seeing the same damage in the back of the stock on the 177, you know, having it be refurbed. And then you can actually feel that it's not smooth. You know, so so that's 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 what I'm doing there. You know what I mean? So I just want to give you guys an update. This is a long fucking drawn out, um, a long drawn out video. So 